A new play tells a little known story of a librarian, a children's book, and segregation. Carol Makita explains why the Alabama story remains important to audiences and the broader community. Epitaph for Dixie, segregation isn't justified. Not all librarians are heroes or heroines, but Emily Reed was. What she did in 1959 in Montgomery, Alabama, inspired playwright Kenneth Jones. Controversial against the way we run things here. A segregationist state senator wanted her to take a children's book off the shelves. And she said, wait a minute. And uh, I thought there was something, some building blocks of a play there. Instantly I saw the building blocks of a play, um, north and south and black and white and male and female. The controversy was about this, the rabbit's wedding. Every morning they hopped out of bed and out into the early morning sunshine. The play is in many ways about how hate poisons innocent things and I think this book is very innocent. I just wish that I could be with you forever and always, replied the little black rabbit. While writing the play, Kenneth Jones met Karen Azenberg, Pioneer Theatre Company's artistic director. Now, Alabama Story has its world premiere here. It's a story, it's a message that can't be reinforced enough times. It's a play for generations. The Associated Press. Greta Lambert plays the reserved, socially awkward librarian who found courage so smart and so intelligent and um, has such a passion about the book and the fact that all books should be available to all people at all times. Um, but it's, it's very remarkable and I'm very respectful of her. Because of the power of a book and in particular this one, both the Utah State and Salt Lake County Library Associations have created events around the running of this play. I got them to change the policy at the county level some of these librarians will participate in a panel discussion following a matinee of Alabama Story. Their focus, Emily Reed. She set the stage for me to do what I do as chair of intellectual freedom in Utah to give me the confidence to do what I do because she was a pioneer and she took chances. I hope audiences walk away with the idea that um, books can change your life. The two little rabbits were wed and lived together happily. Playwright Kenneth Jones says the facts in his Alabama story were once a footnote in American history. He hopes, because of his play, they will now be part of the national conversation. Thank you, Carol Makita.